Thank you, Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the District of Senate. I rise to speak today about a group of constituents in my district that have a unique history, culture, and a place in our state in which they maintain to this day. The Sack and Fox tribe of the Mississippi and Iowa occupies the Mississippi settlement in Tama County along the Iowa River. Native American issues is not a topic that is covered on every day here in the Iowa Senate, but the history of this body shows a willingness not to only embrace this tribe and its members, but also to look forward to our relationship with them. It is true our nation has a very difficult history to Native American tribes, which I do not wish to dwell on, but instead want to focus on how the state has chosen to do the right thing with the Mesquite Nation over the past 150 years. And I want to make sure that we continue to do the right thing for this community. Overall, Native Americans represent a little over 1% of the entire population of Iowa. So it can be easily forgot about this segment of our society. Most people across the country have never met a true Native America, American. And in the state of Iowa, the number is much smaller. Uh, again, less than 1% uh, and roughly about 1,500 to 2,000 members and descendants that are living in the Tama County area. Despite the small number, our state has found a way to open our, open our arms to them as a tribe and chose, uh, when they chose to return to our state. The original inhabitants of the state included tribes like the Madan and the Iowa, which were long gone by the time even Lewis and Clark moved through the territory. These tribes were replaced with tribes like the Otos, who were some of our very first farmers in Iowa. The Sack and Fox tribe first moved to the Iowa after migrating from upstate New York and through Wisconsin uh, as a non-native move to the west. One of the original villages is just a few miles down the river from where we currently sit. They were eventually moved to a reservation in Oklahoma where they found the climate and the land to be different from the culture and their way of life. A portion of the tribe took the risk and came back to Iowa to purchase 80 acres along the Iowa River. Instead of being granted land by the federal government, these tribal members purchased the land that they owned and have continued their self-reliance to this day. Governor James Grimes accepted their land into trust by the state of Iowa in 1857 and held true to his promise despite the federal government's land policy being shaped by the Homestead Act and the Dawes Act of 1887. This progressive stance toward the Muskogee continued with the first in the nation Iowa Grace Protection Act in 1976 that came into law before the federal version and some, and more recently, with the development of the Muskogee Tribe Court System in 2005 and where they tried their very first case in 2006. The state also recognized the tribal police and they now participate and are certified by the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy. One of the areas where the state and the country failed tribes across the country is in the conveyance of criminal and civil jurisdictions away from sovereign nations. Sadly, it is the policy of the country shortly after World War II to terminate Native American tribes. The termination era was sandwiched between the policy of formal recognition under the Indian Re Reorganization Act of 1933 and the era of self-determination under the Indian Self-Determination and Education Act of 1973. Tribes across the country, many in the Midwest, such as the Menominee Nation in Wisconsin and the Red Lake Band of the Ojibwe in Minnesota, were stripped of their status as Indians by the federal government through specific legislation that removed jurisdiction from tribes when they eventually, uh, and then eventually to full recognition. Thankfully, these tribes knew that the federal and state governments had no say over their cultures, their traditions, and they fought hard over the 25 years to change the course of the federal government and state policies. One of those tribes also impacted is the Sac and Fox tribe of the Mississippi here in Iowa. The federal government decided in 1948 to include the Swahili Nation in this grouping of tribes and transfer criminal jurisdiction to the state of Iowa. The same legislation language was a precursor language to the termination scene in other states. In 1948, the, this 1948 law at the federal level needs to be repealed. We here in the state of Iowa should assist and work so that it is repealed. I will, can you, I will continue to work to see in what ways Iowa can help and have a positive impact on this change. While our state
states are working against tribes in, the, in their states, I want to make sure our state is working with our Native American community. We can't erase what the United States history and the Native Americans were, but we should embrace Iowa's positive history. 